of Jesus. I cover myself and the children of God with the blood of Jesus. I ask for your giant warrior angels to protect us as your war club and weapons of war. Break down on game and blow up all walls of protection around witches and warlocks and wizards and saints and sorcerers and the like. I break every power over all curses, hexes and spells and every stronghold of addiction and any other connection to wickedness that may come my way or your children's way. And I return it in the demons back to its sender, the enemy sevenfold. And I bind them by the blood of Jesus and I burn and cut their silver cord and lay lines in Jesus' holy name. We pray. Children of God, I'm coming from Luke chapter 8, verse 26. And they arrived at the country of Gardens, which is over against Galilee. And when he went forth to the land, there met him out of the city a certain man which had devils long time and wore no clothes, neither abode in any house but in the tombs. When he saw Jesus, he cried out and fell down before him. And with a loud voice said, What have I do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of God, most high? I beseech thee, torment me not. For he had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man. For oftentimes it had caught him, and he was kept bound with chains and fetters. And he broke the bands and was driven out of the devil into the wilderness. And Jesus asked him, saying, What is thy name? And he said, Legion, because many devils were entered into him. And they besought him that he would not command them to go out into the deep. And there was there and heard of many swine feeding on the mountain. And they besought him that he would suffer them to enter into them. And he suffered them. Then went the devils out of the man and entered into the swine. And the herd ran violently down a steep place into the lake and were choked. When they that fed them saw what was done, they fled and went and told it in the city and in the country. Then they went out to see what was done and came to Jesus and found the man out of whom the devils were departed, sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed in his right mind, and they were afraid. They also which saw it told them by what means he that was possessed of devils was now healed. Then the whole multitude of the country of gardeners round about besought him to depart from them, for they were taken with great fear. And he went up into the ship and returned back again. Now the man out of whom the devils were departed besought him that he might be with him. But Jesus sent him away saying, return to thy own house and show how great things God has done unto thee. And he went his way and published throughout the whole city how great things Jesus had done unto him. Now I get very excited about this story because the glory firing blessings and blessings that the Lord is showing us in this chapter is overflowing. Oh, glory be to God. The fact that Jesus met him and showed his mercy on the man. See, he knew that the man was still a soul, but was lost and in bondage, and he was being suffered by the demons in him. So the Lord considered delivering him. Now, brothers and sisters, I don't know what you may be going through, whether it be addiction, lying, or lusting, whatever bondage it may be. But I'm here to tell you that the only Jesus, the only one Jesus, can deliver you from it. Amen. See, some of us are walking around with devils in us for a long time, and we see it to be normal until it starts messing with our well-being. This man was without clothing and stayed not in his own house, but in a tomb. The devil drove him out of his house. Oh, y'all not hearing me. Y'all are not hearing me. How many of us have been driven out of our houses away from your families and friends and life. See, the devil isolated him. He had him reside in a tomb. How many know that a tomb is a house for the dead? The devil had planned to consume him and kill him and leave him unto the dead. Oh, y'all not hearing me. Many of us know 
that we should be residing in a place that is only fit for the dead. Meaning, we are not with our loved ones enjoying laughter and life and peace, but we have been driven into darkness, into a hole like a tomb. Glory be to God. See, the only way we can be delivered from what we are in is to go to Jesus and meet him like the man had done. We must cry out and fall down before him. Jesus will remove the uncleanliness and cast out the devils out of us. Jesus had faith in his father that he could speak and the demons would come out. We too must speak the devils out of us and our houses. Come on, you know Jesus gave us the power over these devils. Do not allow them to consume you. See, the devils knew Jesus. That is why they begged to be suffered into the swine. See, the devil had to live somewhere. So why not you? You got to evict the devil. Tell him, oh no, not him. No, you won't. Tell him I'm about to go meet Jesus. Watch they flee. Jesus did suffer them into the swine. But he also drove them out into the deep of the sea. And they choked. Tell somebody God is about to choke all my issues. Once I lay them at his feet, they shall be choked. And I shall be cleaned and clothed again in his righteousness. I'm about to get in my right mind. Amen. Allow God's divine glory to prevail in your life, children of God. And be now a new creature. Go out and bear witness unto the people on how the merciful living God has done for you. Praise the Lord. I hope this message has blessed and touched you the same as it has for me. God bless you and go meet the Lord.